Maybe I can start it up here. Ready? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have that. Sorry. <laughs> Go put it out there and see what it does. I mean, it could drive around. Let's see what's on the PC. Yeah. It's got a lot to process. Okay, and go set. So now, finding salt, we will go there. Okay. We're actually autonomously making a map in the background. It lays a map which we'll reveal to you later. So it collects all these points. What you see here is walls that are represented of lanes. What we do, they have to do a curvy path, and we call this poly mountains, a mountainous path. They also have to do poly city. It's been a, a joint learning. It's been a joy from an autonomous system perspective. This is a system of systems. Uh, is using the Z camera here to recognize a stop sign slash cone. What we did was we took images of it with the cone and then without the cone, and we trained it on our school supercomputer to know when there's a cone. So whenever you place it, it realizes there's a cone, goes up to it, stops, and then when you take out the cone, it continues going forward. We also realized that triangles happen a lot. Everybody stands like this. You see, you know, line, any two lines meet, basically there's a triangle there. So, your shirt? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, your shirt. <laughs> we had the car built in just under a month and took it for its first drive in that time frame under a collaboration of our group and other groups to achieve the final goal. It's ROS and Gazebo, which was kind of a challenge because most of us didn't know how or how it worked. But the, the, we're planning to have this as a global map and have the car to travel on there. And, and within that global map, we can have like local map based on where the car is. It can detect like the obstacles around and make adjustments based on that. But still tries to get to like the final destination of the global map. We want all these things running with the TEV, which is doing a lot of calculations with time elastic band, that's what the TEV means. So it's doing a lot of calculations in the path it's trying to take. We're trying to do multiple colors, so a stop sign color, a green color for shapes, along with shape detection and contour detection. So it masks for color, and that, that uh, pentagon there is green. So it looks for a general green, and then it looks around those greens, see, counts how many sides there are, and from that we can determine what polygon it is. So this is going to represent a stop sign today. It'll act uh, like a normal human word at a stop sign. So we have two 
like sign set up of green pentagon and blue pentagon. And that's uh, left and right. Because it's so confined to the space, when we were charging it, it would get very hot in there, and we wanted to avoid any issues with the electronics and all the components that sit with inside the batteries. Because there's two batteries that are basically sitting on top of each other, um, one for the, you know, the car itself and then one for the CPU and all the other stuff. Do that again. Do that one more time.